Real quick special announcement. Tomorrow night, Wednesday night, I'm going to be over at the Crafty Floridians channel at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time unboxing all the beautiful boggy blankets. Nancy with She's Got Yarn. How's everybody doing? I had to go get glasses. Um, tonight we're going to bag up all my Mandela. some more man mandala but it's bagged oh i already bagged it okay most of it's hobby lobby and mandala okay mandala has been bagged this is mandala spirit okay so i've already i must have already done a video with the mandala because i've got all this mandala this shelf here deep in mandala in here that's ice yarn but that's mandala 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 and i've got some way up there and then i've got some behind the fan blade can you see it all right there you can see the tip of it up top right there that's there's three in a pack there so yep but i've got it at, i've got them everywhere in the room i want to get them together because i have three cubbies bagged up with mandela so yeah but let me go ahead let's go ahead and get these in the container and we'll see if we can bag them up i am missing a ball band on one of these dang it This is a tweed. I got a whole bag up there of three cakes up top of this yarn. I'm not. I'm gonna put it right there because it'll be all by itself. <sighs> Who makes this? Premier? Yeah, Premier. Doogie doogie. I bought this yarn because I thought I was going to start doing the mosaic that Ginger does. But then I started my channel and I've never gotten around to it. And. Oh well. Okay. This is a start. There's a mandala. Well, okay. Hang on. Let's bag up some mandala. Mandela. I have a lot more than what I pulled out. <laughs> I have an entire shelf of this stuff. This. These colors, are they not gorgeous? I'm going to move up closer. Hey, Archie. He's going to have to just sit there. Isn't that pretty? And this color is called Happy Hurix. 
Purex. I think that's so pretty. And then we have another, okay, specs, sorry. Um, the specs are 340 yards, 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 315 meters. It's a number four. And the hook size, I can't read it. I can't read it. And it looks like you can wash, wash and dry, yeah. Wash and tumble dry. My, my glasses are in the car. Let me see if I can find another pair. Hang on. Oh, I'll turn this above the light on. Dogs knocked over something out of my cart where I keep my glasses. Here's a pair. I go get glasses. Um, tonight we're going to bag up all my Mandela. Yes, all my wild colors. I have a lot of Mandela line brand, a different, I mean, there's so many. They got the tweed and the, these beautiful colors. The only, the only ones I never bought was the, I think they were like white water colors or something like that. I never bought any. I don't know why, but anyways, let's let's go ahead and um, I'm going to show you tonight some of what I have. I'll get to the rest of it later on in the week. So, the first one. You remember Crystal made that beautiful poncho with this yarn. I think she used a contrast yarn of white. It was beautiful. Anyways, this color is called Serene. And I gotta put on my glasses because I can't see. Um, okay, it's 5.3 ounces, 150 grams, 344 yards, 315 meters, 100% acrylic, a number four, and knitting needles was a 4.5, and crochet hook is a 5.5. It says, note, balls of yarn from the same dye lot may differ. Okay, and it has, you can wash and dry it. And Serene, I already told you the color. And it's made by Lion Brand. Lion Brand Modella. Is that not beautiful? <laughs> it's so pretty. I made a blanket once when I first started crocheting. So let's see what I have. Let me back up a little bit. I apologize, my camera. Maybe I can pull it. Hold on one second. I think I can bring it closer to me by adjusting it. I hope this helps. Stop licking the bags. This is not food. He's eaten a few things lately. I don't appreciate him eating like a notepad. He chewed up all the corners where I write notes. Okay, here's two of them. And the centers are pretty, pretty close. Here's two more. Where's this? Okay. So we got four. Five, six, you can tell I like this color, <laughs> seven, is that it? That's it. So we have seven. That's a lot of yarn. All right. I'm going to break out the big bags. I got a feeling. That's we're gonna what we're gonna need. 
I'm not sure. If I can drag them up like this. I'm going to put six in this bag. Y'all, I'm so tired, but I can't sleep. Oh, my time clock's just set for the wrong time of day. I need a reset. That's from wanting to stay up and finish a project. Wanting to get some crocheting done, you know, 30 more minutes, 30 more minutes, 30 more minutes. The next thing you know, it's three o'clock in the morning and I've got my clock all messed up now. But, um, I got up today at 10 o'clock, which is late, really, but... I got up and had to go to the post office. I had to mail some yarn to one. It's cheaper to mail your luggage and stuff than to um, carry it on and check it in on the plane. So, but anyways, yeah, yesterday we had a blast. Yarn shopping. Lenny Ann was with us. Well, I was, I she drove and, um, but yeah, we had a great time. He's a lot of fun. We laughed all day. Okay, this is all by itself. I'm going to put it back. All right. The next... Let's see. The next batch, let's make it... For some reason, I thought this color was called Happy. It is called Happy. I read the... Purex is another language. Okay. I'm tired. <laughs> so this is happy, not this. We got this. And these. These. All the specs are the same. The color's happy. I think that's it. Nope, here's one more. So we have four, five, six, seven. I don't know why I didn't just buy eight. <laughs> I bet you I have an eighth one somewhere in my yarn room. But I'm trying to get everything together and organized. When I first started doing these, I wasn't just doing certain brands. I was just you know, emptying the cubby and then just bagging all the yarn up in the cubby. So there are some cubbies in my yarn room that have Mand Mandela that was already bagged up. So I'll probably video when I move it around because I want to put them all together. All right, so we're going to do six in this bag. It worked out perfect. This yarn is fun yarn. This happy. It's, it's, it's so pretty. I bought most of this yarn at, I believe, Joanne's probably. No, Walmart. Walmart. The only color I couldn't find at Walmart, it was like a pink and a, like a, I don't know. Was it gray or burgundy? I can't remember. But I really struggled to find that yarn. I finally found it. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Talking. <laughs> oh, goodness. All right. We're going to have.
have a scraggler. Okay. Goodness, goodness. seen my, my youngest son all weekend. He must have went to his girlfriend's. His girlfriend lives in Tampa. Yeah, she lives... Well, her family's in Tampa. Oh, let's see. So we got five. Six. The colorway is the same, the Mandala Ombre, but it, this is called Tranquil. Here's another. You know, they're all wound differently. But yeah, I've got five of them. And this one is all by itself, but I'm, I know I have more hanks or not hanks more capes in this color all right these bags you can get on timu or amazon what you're going to want to do is put your hanks together how you want to bag them you can cakes you can get a bag big enough and you measure give a little grace here so this is like let's see the bag is 14 yeah so you would so if it's 14 I would give it an inch on each side like hold it in the middle and then the length The length on this one is 16 and a half. That's so you have room to fold it, you know. I, th these bags um, will hold four skeins of the Lion Brand Heartland side by side. It'll hold um, six of the Ombre Cakes. This other one, I recommend getting the smaller bag also. They're inexpensive. They're not that much. Um, I don't remember what I paid, but I know that they're not that much. Under $10, I know, on Timu. So this is 11 by 15 and a half, approximately. So I recommend this one for the Lion Brand. You can put them four... Um, you can get four to, four in here. You can get no, you can get four um, Heartland in here, but these smaller bags you can put skeins sideways and stack three. This is one of my most used bags. I'm out of, and then this other bag is thirteen. 0.78 by 19. So this is long, 14 wide, and 19. So this is a little bit longer, right? I guess. I'm not sure. One's a little bit longer than the other, but um, this was from Timu. And I can't read what's on this tape. Maybe. Henge. It's not English. Remove liner to 
exposed adhesive. Oh, it's telling you to peel it so you can. But anyways, this is my favorite bag. I used a lot of it the other night. But the big bag, this one, the first measurement I gave you, oops, hold six of these. Now, if you don't remember the measurement, just rewind and I'll, re you know, you can hear the repeat. So, yeah, I think we're doing pretty good with the bags. And I think I have a bag a little bit wider than this one. Um, it's got the red tape on it. identical except the red one slightly slightly see right here it's slightly it's about this much longer the red one so you can get them longer you can put stack more yarn in them so anyways let's see how these fit in here if they fit in these better than the other they're, they're the same width so it shouldn't matter but you never know. Wait. Yeah. What was the color again? Tranquil. What did I make? I think I made... I made a C to C with this color. At some point in my yarn history. <laughs> it's been a long time. I have, y'all, I have a ton of Red Heart Roll With It. It's like a number, a thick number four. Oh my goodness. I didn't know I had all that, but I've got a ton of it. And I have a lot of Red Heart Melage that I bought a long time ago. I didn't buy it on clearance, I don't think. I, I've done a lot of shopping over the years. Just Joann's and Michael's and Hershner's and Ice. Walmart. The Mandela, a lot of them I bought at Walmart. And now I've developed a nice little collection of Premier Puzzle. I went to Georgia and I got colors I didn't have. I think there's like three colors I picked up that I did not have. And I think I bought four or five skeins, maybe six. I'm not sure. I can't remember. All right. These are loners, but they're not. I know I have more colors somewhere in that yarn room. I still have some of that yarn that I got at Walmart and the tubes of three, they come in a pack of three. I just grabbed them from the top shelf at Walmart. All right. This color is white elephant. And let's see what the There is, it's a number four, 4.5 knitting needles, 5.5 crochet hooks, 426 yards. So there's more yardage here. And this is the Tweed Stripes Mandala. I love this yarn. I purchased this yarn to start doing Tunisian with Ginger, the yarn addict. But um, that was before I had my channel. I had this yarn. But never got around to it. Hopefully, I will eventually. So, okay. Again, it's white elephant, this color. This color is white elephant. See, they don't look the same, but they are. Okay. I'm going to take my glasses off. Ooh, that's pretty. What is that? This is knock on wood. Look at the green in that. Isn't that pretty? Oh my goodness. 
I only bought these because Crystal talked about them back in the day when she had a yarn room. I loved her yarn room. And people annoyed the crowd out of her, so she got rid of it. Shouldn't let anybody change what you love. Be yourself. You love yarn? Keep yarn. But... Uh, She's a lot tougher today, I think. You get tired of the bull. You become numb to it, kind of. All right, I'm looking for the elephant. Elephant. Um... Knock, knock on wood. Cat's eye. That. I'm going to show it to you. I'm just getting them all together because some of them are really close in color. White elephant. Five of those. And what is this color? Dice. I got... These two are loners. Because I don't think I have any more mandala. The the tweed. Oh, look at this color. Oh, that's so pretty. This one's another loner. No, cat eyes. Which one was cat eyes? They don't look anything alike, but they are just wound differently. So I have two cat eyes. Uh, I may go buy some more of this just so I have enough to make something with all the colors, you know? Here's another cat eyes. Cat's eyes. Okay. So we have three cat's eyes, five white elephant, and four knock on wood. And then I have Shooting Star. It's a red. This is all by itself, poor thing. <laughs> but I've got Shooting Star. I've got four. I think I have more. I think they're bagged up in another cabinet. And I think the same thing goes for this. I would never just buy one cake. No, that's Cat, cat Eyes. So we have four cat eyes. Wasn't there something else? I guess not. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. All right. Come on. Move over. Yeah. That's weird. I have four cat eyes. Okay. And then the last color that won't fit on the table is horse shoe blue. Isn't that pretty? I got four of those in here. And one of them's missing a ball band. Don't know why. Well, if you see the way they have them in Joanne's, they're just thrown in a bin. That's probably where I bought it. Even Walmart sometimes, their shelves are terrible. So, all right, let's move this over. I want to try a smaller bag. Is that smaller? Not really. That's okay. All right, so there's four of these, and they are called Shooting, Shooting Star. I think this is really pretty. I actually have Tunisian. I have a whip on a Tunisian hook with this yarn. <laughs> I haven't touched it. I did not. It was back when I first started crocheting, so I didn't know a lot. I probably would do better if I was to try it again today. But it's sitting in a whip bag, a clear bag. So you can see what's in it. Oh, my goodness. 
Yeah, this bag's smaller. Whoops. Or the mandalas are thicker and they only hold four instead of six in a bag. These things, they fall on the floor, but they clean together. I just rub my hand across the floor and they clean to my hand. And it's easy to pick them up. I don't have to pick them up one at a time. They stick to you. It's funny. All right. Two bagged up. Let's see, I don't think this is the same one, but it might be. Yeah, it's fine. Yay! Is that really cat's eye? It is. It doesn't look like cat's eye. It's got dark colors. I don't know. It's the way it's caked up. This one is also cat's eye. <sighs> Yesterday, we had so much fun. We went to the villages and shopped their Hobby Lobby, Joann's, and Michael's. Very disappointed in Michael's. I mean, we found some clearance yarn, but it was not really yarn we would have made a first choice of. I just bought it because it was chunky, and I could use it as a contrast, the gray chunky at Hobby Lobby. Um, I think it's brunette chunky. But anyways, and Juan was looking for scarfy. Him and Lynn both got some scarfy. For three bucks or some or five bucks, I don't know. It was cheap, and that I only got gray, that gray yarn at Michaels and Joann's. No, I left the first Joann's empty-handed. There wasn't anything I really liked, but then we went back to Ocala, and that Joann's, I bought a a fan, and I bought. I bought those big um, Mandela cakes, the big ones. I bought two of those big ones. First time I've ever bought those. Okay, this yarn is White Elephant. It's beautiful yarn. I need to use these because they're so beautiful. When Ann's doing Tunisian Tuesday, you guys, go over there. If you're not subscribed to her channel, go check her out. And it's not crochet. Most of you are already. But she's a dear friend. And she is so organized. She has Tunisian Tuesday. I mean, she's got her act together. She's not all over the place like I am. I can't help it. Anyways. What was that? Something jumped on me. Maybe it was just one of these strips, I hope. I have a bug man. We don't have bugs. They are outside. It's supposed to be anyways. The only problem we have is um, because of the cows out back or we have cows across the street. If you leave the door open for any long amount of time a fly will come in and aggravate me to death. Okay. So, next is the Knock Knock on wood. That is pretty. It is so pretty. It's got teal and like a burgundy and then mustard and then a brown and tan stripe, a green and tan stripe, a purple and tan stripe, and then a purple 
with a lighter purple and then a teal with like a it's either a burnt orange kind of a burnt orange yeah it is a, or, or it's a rust color but yeah it's gorgeous yep and we have four more and this other one it's the same yarn but this other one it's got a lot of green green and teal that's quite a bit I don't see green and teal in this it could be inside I don't know different lot you know but anyways it's beautiful it's all beautiful I won't complain but yeah next time they have a clearance I'm gonna get some more of this at um, Joanne's my luck they're probably discontinuing it <laughs> I don't know why they would, because I'm sure newbies love this yarn. I watched that movie, Whitney Houston, like when she was discovered. And um, I have her, the greatest thing has been rolling in my head for two days. <laughs> it's a beautiful song. I didn't realize her grandmother was a singer. Or no, her mother. Sissy. I don't I don't know why I never No. Her aunt Aretha. I watch her. Used to watch her at, you know, music awards and stuff like that. But all that stuff got very controversial and I don't know. People were hating on one another. I stopped watching TV, period. Because it's terrible. I was always taught if you have toxic people in your life, you can remove them. You're responsible to remove them. You know, so I choose not to watch the news anymore. Or awards, music awards. I don't watch any of them anymore. But I do listen to music. My brother that lives out in California, he loves Donna Summers. I had, I had eight tracks. It's <laughs> in my car. And my daughter, Tiffany, it's so funny how different generations. Um, I grew up, my mother, my mother listened to Kenny Rogers. Um, what was the ones that sang the song, Up, Up, and Up, 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 and Away, and My Beautiful, My Beautiful Boy. I can't remember what they're called. Darn it. I can't remember, but we had like the big albums. And she had this huge stereo. I mean, it was like, remember the big TV, console TVs? But hers was a stereo. You had to lift the lid, and it had a record player in there, and it had, it's all heavy duty. I wish I had that, because I would paint it white and keep it. <laughs> I don't know what happened to that. Now that I think about it, they built the house, and they must have gave it away. Anyways, what other music? Elton John. Um, oh, Elvis. I listened to Elvis growing up. I know all his songs. <laughs> and I was so sad when he when I found out he died.
J.T. Young, said Michael Jackson. Those are people that probably let the world get to them. So they numbed themselves with alcohol or drugs. It's terrible. I'm very grateful. My children... I think I asked my kids, why did you turn why did you turn out so good? My son said, because you scared the pajibis out of me. I was scared of you, Mom. I would never do drugs because I know you would tear my butt. <laughs> they act like they were beat or something. But I scared them. That's you know, I I had no problem getting on to them. But yeah, I miss those days. And there was some other, like, 60s music, bebop, like, Elvis-type music. But there were other singers. I can't remember their names. But I know all the words to all those songs. And my mom, my dad's mother, she loved Tammy Wynette. I know all of Tammy Wynette's songs. They're stuck in my head from childhood. Um, the D-I-V-O-R-C-E <laughs> becomes final today. <laughs> oh, goodness. My grandma was an Ohio redneck. <laughs> I loved her dearly. She loved me. I did no wrong in her eyes. And that used to make my dad so mad. Every time you go to your grandma's, it takes me two weeks to straighten you out. <laughs> That's what grandmas are for. Spoil us. I spoil my grandkids. Gunner will go, Queenie, can we go to Walmart? <laughs> and my son looks at me. He's like, Mom. I said, what? I see them once in a blue moon here lately. I can spoil them for Christmas. Probably why I don't see them that much. He probably doesn't want me to see them. Oh, goodness. No, he loves me. My granddaughter got straight A's. Well, she got the A honor roll, not A, B. She got the A honor roll. She got, like, one of the highest awards you could get. And she's in third grade now. Can you believe she's in third grade? Oh, she's growing so fast. She's going to be nine in February. That's killing me. She's getting tall. She's shooting up. I mean, she's going to be really tall, I think. We'll see. Now, her daddy's not tall. Her mom is... Her mom's probably 5'7". My son is 5'8". I don't know. Joey, my son's not that tall. That's the Italian gene. His dad was short. <laughs> I'm Germ German. But, you know, my daughter had a DNA test genealogy test done she wants me to test and I told her I would but um her father was Italian and I'm German and Norwegian and she had the DNA she goes mom I am what'd she say she says she's like 75% Italian she goes so that means you're Italian I said what I'm not Italian. She goes, yeah, you, she goes, I know you have Italian in you. She said the numbers are just too high. So I don't know. She was able to tell it was me. So she goes, I want you to get tested to see. Cause she had no German in her. Isn't that crazy? My last name, my maiden name was German. Oh, sure. But. They could be wrong, you know? Sometimes testing could be wrong. I think that's why she wants me to get checked. Just to make sure that they didn't make a mistake. Oh, 
goodness. Well, I know I didn't bag up a lot tonight, but I'm going to leave it at this. And we'll come back tomorrow night and bag up some more. Because I got plenty of Lion Brand Mandela. Yeah. I got a ton of it. <laughs> so, all right. I'm going to get off of here and... My babies are sleeping. I'll share that with you for all my puppy supporters. I love it. You guys love my dogs because I love them. Yeah. It's killing me not to get another dog, but I have two geriatric dogs and they're a lot of work. So... A puppy would just probably push me over the edge. If I should, what I, what I want to do, I told Tim, is rescue. Do a rescue. So, yep. And I, oh, tonight I bought, if you guys haven't gone on Hershner's website, they've got a bunch of crochet kits and knitting kits for like $29, $29.99 or like $24.99. I bought a bunch of them. So, I thought about sending them to Crystal, but what I could do is send them to some of my dear friends that could do them and send them to Crystal. So, that I know would return them to Crystal. So, leave that step out of Crystal. You know, Crystal doesn't have to do that step. So, I mean, I can send her a blanket, but it's going to be your basic... You know, not any inter. I bought a couple of them were intricate, very, very pretty blankets. So, anyways, I'm gonna leave it at that. I love you guys. You know that I appreciate every one of you. Um, for, for I appreciate you supporting my channel and everyone that supports Boggy Creek. Tomorrow night at 7, we're going to start Boggy Creek. Because I have, like, I think I have 34 boxes. Is that not crazy? It's awesome. And and I know 12 of them, I think, no, 14 of them came today in the mail. Because the post office said, I need you to come up here every day. Because we're filling a whole container. <laughs> I took up like four um, those lock boxes full of small packages and then the big boxes she had to scan each one of them I held up the line I was usually I'm the one at the end of the line annoyed with the person at the register taking so long <laughs> that I was the one everybody's real supportive because I told them what what they were and a couple ladies were just like that is so awesome they'd help me open the door and, you know, that was really nice of them. Yep. There's something else I wanted to say. Oh, the post office told me I had to come every day. Till the end of the month. Because there's so many boxes. I think I did. I don't think I told you that. Who knows? But anyways, you know now. So, again, Boggy Creek unboxing tomorrow night at Billy's, the Crafty Floridian's channel. And I hope to see everybody there. Yes, and I want to thank each and every one of you guys for doing doing all that hard work. And I, I am going to, I'm going to try, I don't know, I'll, or maybe Billy will do it, but do like a slideshow. You know, I got a lot of them bagged up, but Lynette's coming. I'll see if Lynette will let me unbag. Well, if I unbag them, she'll help me bag them back up, and then we'll load them in the truck. I don't know. I don't know if she'll let me, if she'll have time for that. But she is going to come here. But then we're going to leave and go to Orlando. So, but we'll see. We'll see. So, all right. I love you guys. i see you tomorrow. <laughs> and Susie's out.
Yeah, Rick's sleeping. Oh, she's snoring. <laughs>